we're coming into this one a little late. I forgot to hit the record button at the start of this video. Uh, but we have three heroes going into our first night. We have one we are going to build as a blood mage, who is a traitor with fey blood and corrupt. Uh, this is what they're looking like. They oh, Everyone's accuracy is vanishingly awful. And then we're going to do a poison dodge hero. Try and get some adrenaline working with this clumsy blacksmithed trained individual lots of poison we're gonna pick up some dodge try and get that going and then you have a lot of dodge uh but haniel is going to be a uh proximity cannon crit the, this stands for a lot of different things but we're, we're gonna get that going and this one is uh yeah haniel is gonna be interesting as well so let's get this going uh we we ended on on medium weapons so, not bad weapons and not good weapons. 117. High roll would have killed, but... Okay. Probably shouldn't have physically blocked that entryway. The accuracy is going to hurt so good this first night. Did I miss any? No, nothing's nothing's flying. Uh, I was like, why is one of my heroes lacking pants? And then I remembered. Got another another bat here. We can poke down a little bit. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so we're doing we're doing medium weapons. That's the plan. I will I will toss out a bees. This probably won't kill too many things outside. That missed. Wait, this the path was miss hit, miss hit, miss miss or miss hit. It missed every other one. You love to see it. Second time is the charm. Toss you over to there. Everybody's blocking. Medium weapons is the plan, Sam. So we're rolling axes, great axes, short bows, crossbows, rifles, cannons, tomes of secrets, druid staffs, and gauntlets. I guess I should use the axe for its intended purpose, which is missing everything. Not, not impressed. All right. Hey everyone, I don't I don't like this. I am not enjoying. I am not enjoying the lack of accuracy that I am currently being saddled with. 
This is not fun. This is... Why did you guys force me not to take Dexterity? Why? Why would you do this to me? Holy smokes, this is just freaking abysmal. Axe user is the only person who I feel like is hitting anything. Um, so I guess there's some irony there. Let's see. This bat here is going to be annoying. I think I need to jump over so that I have good vision on it. You're saying you're saying it's my fault. I was the one who made this this terrible decision. I think you're right. I did. We told you Axe is basically an A tier item. We we will see. We will see. Super spin is just always so bad. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be unfortunate over here in a second, I think. Let's see, who still has actions? We can probably Should probably wait here and just soften some of these guys up. Could he hit five people that were all generating panic? That's the question. destroy a wall. Alright, I can at least use a super spin. Might as well boop ya. Is super spin undodgeable? No, it is nothing. Okay. As long as we I'm also I'm also trying to be mindful of the fact that at this point our our axe user has gotten the majority of the kills. So I would prefer not to funnel everything to them. Got to got to keep a balanced XP uh resume here. But the misses have been br brutal. B -b brutal okay let's let's take a look i think our druid staff hero is really slacking let's see kills 27 for crossbow 16 for druid staff 26 yeah so as many as we can give to the druid staff user they they can do this hopefully this kills all three of these i think it probably would have if it hadn't missed Let's see, were you the... Oh, you were the 26. The crossbow is actually in the lead. So maybe... Just one time? 
These guys aren't going to meaningfully contribute. And we didn't kill any of them. Perfect. Absolutely flawless. And now we have a sweet super spin right here if we want it. making it to two panic, so I'm just gonna... work my way over. This guy is actually gonna stand on a tile where there could be some value. And technically, we probably should have killed this guy. Holy, holy bad accuracy, Batman. This is like, this is multiple, this is multiple level ups of taking nothing but accuracy to try and dig ourselves out. After watching the first night, new challenge suggestion, max accuracy capped at zero. I love that idea, Abigail. That sounds like such an awful salt filled run. It's such a good idea. Except why why go why go zero? How did you not get level three? Oh come on. And it was our axe user too who had the most kills. Alright, I'm I'm just angry now. Okay. That's that's unacceptable. Calm, cool, and collected. Occasionally a little bit of salt never hurt anybody. Don't don't shame me. I'm not a I'm not a desk smasher. Uh link it, link it and I'll take a look in Lustrous. This, but wait, actually, this is the one where you, you remove some of the critical buildings to make it smaller, right, in Lustrous? I, I don't like the idea of downsizing our, uh, the number of buildings that we're building. So let's see. So we're going to go... We're doing two ends that are aligned one over like this. There we go. I guess this is our four workers. Yeah, we also don't have scavenging, which is kind of, kind of unfortunate. So let's see. Is there any way we're getting to four? Probably not, no. Oh, we do have a knight reward. I just did all that destroying. Another great axe. Praise be. Oh, or some more minus accuracy pants. Okay, this great axe has, has accuracy on it, so I'm just going to grab it. Okay, let's do our level ups. Everybody needs accuracy. Goodbye, first level. We have no multi-hit gear available. So I'm just going to go for XP gain. The inaccurate weapon makes us more accurate, indeed. 
Let's see. Okay, so you you like the propagation bounce. Two ins. What's going on here? So we do need some healing received because of Toxic Leech. Wait, I just realized, are we going Blood Mage on all three of our heroes? We are! This is an all Blood Mage run. Holy cow, I didn't even notice it. Uh, so let's see. So healing received, we like. And then you were, you're doing poison stuff. But we're not going to get any poison. That's fine, though. Uh, you're going to need some defensive stats. So I'm going to grab some block with you and some accuracy. And then over here, this is our, what did, what did P stand for here? This is the cannon build, right? Potion. P stands for potion. Thank you. That will that will help me remember. So let's see. So you will need some healing received. And some crit power, because that's what the C stands for. I'm going to fish for some accuracy here, I think. Now nah, I'll take the damage and then I'll fish for some accuracy. Okay. We tried. We tried. First blood isn't that important. If we just... I'm trying to think here. If we just go... Were you the one who's supposed to be picking up dodge also? No, I forgot. That's that's Hullbird. That's what the D stands for. That's dodge, which we've not done a very good job of. Where's all your dodge coming from? That's from gear. Yeah, I'll move that. I'll move that over. Wait, I did that wrong. Are you, you know, you are the, no, you're not the dodge person. You're the dodge person here. We're getting you up to 17. Yeah, okay. Do you have any dodge gear? Not really. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So then I was thinking, we're definitely going to go overload. What do we pair up with overload? If we're going to get 100% crit without first blood, we don't need to bother with first blood. Magic fuel into sanguine fuel could be good. For now, I'll just take overload. Okay. So let's see. So we still have some cash. I think getting some... Getting some gold mines up and running is a good thing. Let's see, what do we want for gear? It's a nice Baron Cape, but I don't think we can afford it. Without organic armor, Sanguine Fuel is generally not worth it. Yeah, I mean, that is valid. Let's see. I'll probably grab the Tome, just because it's cheap. The Axe doesn't interest me that much. The focus ring is quite nice. I'll grab that, and then I'll grab a level 1 druid staff, and we'll call it a day. Who has the most XP gain? 154 there. And then you can take... That and that. And now we only have one hero who has minus five accuracy. Hooray. All right, let's just, we'll just chill. No need, no need to build any walls or anything like that. You though, you're the one whose accuracy is negative five, right? Let's put you over on this side so that I remember. All right, night number two of our medium weapons. 
Yeah, the focus ring for AP and XP seemed like it was a very good investment. This is going to be an easy night. Famous last words, but... I wanted to just slow things down a little bit there. And we're probably not going to have a lot of other things. At least that's undodgeable, what Haniel's firing out there. Let's see. Soften that guy up. We do have a lot of a lot of bats coming in over here. I'll just chip another one down and we should be good. Hey Tuki, how's it going? What's the good word? How are you with this with all this damage debuff? How are you still taking damage? Are you friggin' made of paper? You do have 30 uh 30 armor. So yes, I guess the, the short answer is yes. You are indeed. Paper thin. Let's see, I gotta, I gotta, oh, the bats, this bat is gonna target our, target our building regardless, so we'll do that, and then, I'm just gonna keep slowing down this part of the, part of the map. Challenge today is medium weapons, Tukey. So we're uh, we're not going with the best of the best. We're not going with the worst of the worst. We're going with that all the stuff in the middle of our tier list. How in the world do we have a dwarf blood mage who is this not tanky? It's kind of amazing. Well, there goes our turn. Is this is a potion of stone. I should probably just like do that and then I'll soften this guy up. So hopefully we can. Okay. Tukey, slacking. But uh, the the short version, Tuki, if you are if you are so inclined, uh, here's the here's the final tier list up on the screen in the uh, in the lower left next to my head, so you can uh, you can check it out. 
Oops, walk too far. Okay, can you kill two enemies with your negative five accuracy? I'd like to kill this bat as well. Of course, we're one we're one tile away. Oh, and they're and they're in the water. Yay, leap. Um Do you still have actions? No, you're out of actions. Okay. Get you back to there. Oh, and then actually let's uh block you up. Okay. Yeah, I mean multi-hit just is generally quite quite dominant, and that is reflected in the tier list for sure. <laughs> Well, good thing, good thing I powered up there. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened? All right, let's see. This is gonna be This is uh this is what we this is what we get for uh for going early uh early great axe. What can I say? Let's see. We got two actions left, two hits left. What are the chances? We do have we do have a little more. All right. Good job, Haniel. Way to way to do the thing. Uh hold on. Do you still you're out of those? All right. Then you you getting surrounded on two sides probably isn't the best. If it's these guys, how hard are you guys hitting for 28? You will definitely take damage from that. All right, I'm just going to toss you off to the side and we'll body block with you. Since you have some actual durability. I should have tossed him further. Hey, Spartan! Oh yeah, that's actually that's a good point. Hold on, let me uh, let me quickly change our title so that it is communicative of what's going on. So this is. APOC 2, we're in Lakeburg, there we go, there we go, stream titles are now, are now adjusted, okay, you, can you kill something please, that was okay, You can armor up. That will defend everything over here. You can take a hit. Oh, yes. And no ballista is also on the list. Okay. So, Great Axe user, you've gotten plenty of kills. 
Are you the person that I took a lot of experience on? I'm gonna keep feeding you experience though. You're you're gonna keep getting experience. I don't mind doing a little bit of power leveling. I go to such trouble to try to power level, and what do I get in return? I get wet noodles for hits. And in fact... Defend the Ruin. Oh, I forgot. One of our heroes is poisonous. I need to figure out where that is. I mean, I've been I've been doing the, the damage buff every time on our Great Axe user, and still I'm hitting, like, crazy breakpoints. So one question that I want to ask people, though, is we do have one hero who has incredibly low accuracy, and we could intentionally continue tanking it downward. Is that... is that madness? Like, we could go for, like, a collateral hits type of build. The intention with low accuracy would be to create something where we were missing constantly and you and having collateral hits proc. Which granted we don't have collateral hits handy, but we could try it. Let's see, let's do some level ups. So you are you're our straight blood mage. So you're gonna be doing great axe stuff. We have Carnage. Boom. You're also a bodybuilder. So we're going to be taking organic armor. So the armor could be good as well. I think straight damage is good here. With only minus 20% accuracy and the axe inaccuracy, you're, you're far from consistent miss. Are we? I feel like we could we could get we could go lower with gear though. Like I think we could go down to negative fifty. Negative a hundred might be hard, but I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to try this out. You're you're a poison hero, right? Poison and potions? No, you're potions and crit. So that this this hero, it would not be good to have them missing a lot with, like, Fire Blast. Hey, welcome, LU. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little conflicted there. Let's, let's go, keep working on Rundavara here. I think just wants more damage. XP gain, we know this hero likes it. And then... So big healing received seems pretty good. Do we care about skill range on a Blood Mage who's going to be using probably Axe, Great Axe? Not really. They're just going to get into the thick of things, I think. That, that depends if collateral damage procs proximity shot... If it does, it may not be so terrible. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try building that hero for very weird thing reasons. 
That's the plan. Okay, so you are you're our dodge hero. So we'll definitely take nimbleness. And then we do need to get some dodge. Uh, you like poison though, definitely. You are allowed to have... So hold on. So you... So Haniel, Haniel now has the no accuracy um, something or other on them. They didn't. They don't have perseverance, which is kind of a shame. That would have been that would have been a fun thing for them to have. What do we think is good to go with with this hero? So this hero is potions and critical. Wait, you can't crit if you're missing, though, right? It doesn't make sense to take crit. Well, I guess I guess we can crit our our collateral damage, right? More of a, a piece of crap. That may be that may be very accurate. What do we what do we want to take here? I mean, I, I think it might be it might be very fair. Okay, so over here we can we can do something with you. This is a roll though, it looks like. I'll take the accuracy. I'd like to be able to actually hit with things occasionally. Proof of concept, also true. But I, I think we need to okay, we need to hone in on this build. What are the weapons that have the greatest chance of missing? It's axes, right? We also need to be in melee range. The cannon. You think the cannon is the best weapon at missing over the axe? I mean, we go axe cannon? Gauntlet does have inaccurate prop, but we don't have volatile on this hero, which makes that a little hard to, to go for. But I, I will say Snap is really good for short range. I kind of like the idea of, of Gauntlet. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna go Gauntlet on this hero, even though we don't have Volatile. Maybe we'll pick up a Volatile Metal. And then what else do we want then? We probably need the movement, so maybe Nimbleness? Or we could go quick reload for more uh, more misses. Let's go quick reload for more misses. Okay, so no accuracy on this hero. Bear that in mind. You're going to be in the thick of things, so I think we are... I think Crit Master is going to be really bad. On, on a hero that's never going to be critting. Because they're never going to be hitting. Well, I guess we, we are going to be hitting. We are going to be critting. Okay, we're going to we're gonna commit to the crit also. Okay. Let's see. So this hero, for now, we don't mind them having some accuracy gear. We'll, we'll take it all off later, and they will they will go lower. Short bro, we don't need... Short bro, we don't need. A little XP on leather cap isn't bad, but I think we can do better. Prop bounces on a helm isn't bad. This would uh, this would make our our really squishy one a lot less squishy. So I think I'll grab that. Who's the squishy one? You're the squishy one. We could use a Manuel, so I'll tuck one in there, and then 
I do need to move the other houses. We don't need to do that this turn, though. Anything in the shop of interest. That Those boots for 56 are pretty decent. That rusty shield is pretty good, too. There's a gauntlet. It's an offhand gauntlet, though. This is a little too expensive. I think... This fixes the our accuracy for someone else. I'll also grab this, just because. Oh, we have nobody with a one-handed weapon, eh? For now, this will mask their low accuracy. Give them a chance to hit occasionally. But then, this shield will save for later. Are we ever... What, what one-handed weapons do we even have? I guess we have that, uh... We have a gauntlet that we'll eventually utilize. Leave that like that for now, and then you're going to split the difference between the two. You can be over here. You can be over here. Which one's the poisonous one? You're the poisonous one. All right. Nobody's going to be over by us. That's unfortunate, but that's just the, the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. This is indeed going to be very weird science. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's keep the party going. We're fine. All right. Upward and onward. Archers? We can we can take the hit here, so I think we'll just we'll just chill there and then Dwarves are so friggin' cute when they're wearing this uh when they're wearing the uh the mithril armor, the way that it goes up around their shoulders is just so good. Let round one kind of come in and let round two get uh, get sniped. Is it weird to think about how much more free time I had before you and TLS came and took it all away from me? Oh, the dud. I, I would apologize, but it seems like the greatest gift I could possibly give. <laughs> I certainly appreciate you hanging out. That's for darn sure. Okay, let's see. So you... Okay, now are you, are you going to be able to do everything? I think you fall short here. Okay. 
Such an awkward skill. Okay, that's all she wrote. I think we get, for our last two AP, I think we, we secure two kills this way, so I'll do this. And then there's no chance that we kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, we do have, oh, hold on, we do have, we do have poisonous on this hero. How much is the poisonous hitting for? 50? I don't think that gets the kill, but we'll we'll at least put yeah put you in the position potentially to. Yeah, we didn't we didn't quite get them, but that's okay. I must warn you to never play Trash of the Titans, as it has such a weird control system that is completely messed with your TLS brain. Oh, really? Seems seems ominous. Okay, so let's see. So I think I think we step to here. Good job, dude. All right. So let's see. So. Let's see. You're all going to get hit by poisonous, right? Can't see. Sometimes it's really hard to see the radius on poisonous. All of, all of them die. So we'll just... I'm just going to slow some folks down. These guys aren't making it that far, so we'll just do this. Didn't really want them to die, but that's okay. Such is life. Okay, you... It's a great game, though. What's uh? Tell me, tell me a little bit about the uh, the concept. I I don't think I've heard of it. die to our poisonous. It seemed like poisonous and poison uh, from it ticks after the panic counter goes up. Unlike regular... No, I don't believe so in Lustrous. If, if something is going to die to poisonous, like in this case, this guy will not generate panic. And hopefully if we can clear... If we can clear this side out, which may or may not happen, 
depending on the gods, uh, the gods will, but but you will, you'll be able to see the panic should not move at all. Oh, dang it. Really? Okay. I'll do this for science. That's not a good use, but it shows that there's going to be panic, but we will not get any panic. See, there you go. No panic. This game plays tricks on you, on your eyes, for sure, and lustrous. Mine too, I swear. Let's see, if we move to here, and then we do, ah, that doesn't really work, okay. You're at 59, which means you will not die, unfortunately. All right, well, I think we did the best we could here. We did get a septic shock proc there, also. Need to remember that that can happen. The great axe remains underwhelming, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. So you're gonna die, you're gonna die. No, you'll be alive with one hit point. Okay, now you're roasted, and then the pan this does not. This gets both of you. Okay, so I can get I can get two this way, I think. No, that doesn't get you. Is there any way I can get you and you? Okay, that works out. And then we just end up with one guy still remaining. Okay. From the Steam page for Trash of Titans, it's a turn-based fantasy tactics game with animal, tr uh, with trash animals. Defend your trash from the invading rats. Eat your trash to upgrade your team. Uh, Think your way out of the ruins by using the shapes of each level to your advantage. Be creative. Try not to die. Interesting. It's also funny that you level up by playing Tetris. I do like Tetris-like games like Backpack Hero, I will say. Wow, all the corpses landed over here. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the house shuffle here. We have we have upgraded these, right? Yeah. House shuffle is happening. Cause I'm I'm gonna go deep in trying to get this last ruin done. There we go. Good morning! Shiz and giggles. Welcome on in. How's it going? Okay, this is our blood mage. Who's going to be picking up... I think vampire here. We'll try and spend all our mana during this next turn. And then you are allowed to take accuracy. So that's probably a good choice. You're not doing anything with poison. 
or stun. You are organic, organic armoring, so daily health is good. And then I will take the accuracy. Just sitting at work. I uh, I love I love to see the uh, the the workers of the world unite in uh, in doing something more interesting than working. So glad to keep you company for that. Hey Tim, welcome on in. All right, so you are poison and dodge. We do need to start getting some dodge for sure. I think runic gift comes. Well, Toxic Leech is important. Then we can take Blood Mage once we have some recovery. So I guess let's Toxic Leech first. It's part of the build. It's part of the build. I will take Poison. And then over here, do I roll for some dodge? Might be interesting too. I'm not going to roll again. We'll just take damage. Okay, and then this is our no accuracy hero. They're gonna be recouping with with potions. So I'll take I'll take runic gift for now. Okay, we, we do like propagation bounces on this hero. Because that's more misses for us potentially. And then I think we just keep stacking crit or keep stacking damage. We do want crit. It's just not showing up. We could roll. I'll grab I'll grab the damage for now. Let's see what our night reward is. A warp crystal is hard to say no to. Especially if it comes with accuracy and block. Someone will use it. Multi-hit ring with, with no uh, no multi-hit available. We have not seen a gauntlet yet. Alright, I'm gonna spend spend some money to consolidate our uh, our base a little bit. How are we doing on mana? We're doing extremely well on mana. Okay, and then if we're if we're looking at this, we're potentially gonna sneak a gold mine here. Although if we skip the gold mine, it just the the base does get significantly smaller. But I think I'll I'll grab it. Oh, this is interesting. So destroying and rebuilding the shop also rerolls it. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I don't, I don't think I had ever noticed that before. We got some cannons in the house. Got an iron shield with dodge on it. I mean, it is quite an expensive reroll, but if you have to move the shop anyways, right? What what weapons am I looking for for my heroes right now? I don't even know. You you still need to not miss for the time being. So we're going to keep stacking up stuff like that. You're also, I guess, going to grab that. We'll give this to you for now. Oh, that's very interesting uh, in Lustrous. Very, very interesting. This, this cannon's relatively cheap. Do we have a hero that's going to utilize it, though? We have a lot of heroes that are, like, rocking druid staffs where it doesn't make sense. You, are you our poisonous hero? You are. Okay, so you're you're gonna keep the druid staff, but I think this druid staff can get re can get returned for that, and you are the person who's eventually gonna have that cannon, so that's good. And then our dodge person would lose dodge from switching to the linen armor. They have quite a bit of dodge on that, but it would be nice to get a an evasion item but we'll get there eventually. 
The vicious boots are kind of nice. It's a lot of accuracy on those boots. But they're also kind of expensive. What else would we be building right now? Basically nothing. Let's let's grab those. Because this is all temporary accuracy. We can remove this later and someone else will, will benefit from it. Okay. Should we start building walls? It's probably not a bad idea. Minus the fact that you can't upgrade the shop for it to work. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, so let's see. So we'll put you over here. We'll put you over here. And I guess we'll put you... Ah, you're, you're a poison. You're a point-blank poison hero. So maybe you... I'm going to sell your great axe. For another cannon. Well, we don't even have to sell the great axe. In fact, we can upgrade your great axe. You're going to go double cannons for now, which is a terrible combination, but at least it means that you're a ranged hero. It's actually a horrible combination. You should have probably gotten this rifle instead. That would have been the better take, just for diversity's sake. Getting another 13 gold. Yeah, we, but we just don't have any health recovery yet in Lustrous. That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's the issue. I, I want to have something that I can kind of like evergreen utilize. I don't want to be like constantly overheating. So this was far from the optimal way to do that. But they're, they're not going to be doing much except shooting stuff. And now our poison or now our heroes that need to be in the thick of things can be in the thick of things. Okay. They didn't need clothing anyways, right? Hoppers, you say? I didn't really want to kill that. That was... I realized a little too late that that was happening. We we do... Our, our strategy does also hinge on finding a Shower of Blows amulet that might might prove more elusive than, than not, unfortunately. All right, let's see. Didn't need to kill that hopper. That was... Also slightly unnecessary. Got myself Gloomhaven on a discount. Gotta say, it makes me feel really stupid. I literally lost like four out of six missions I went on. The only saving grace is that there's no penalty for losing. I've heard really good things about Gloomhaven. Uh, it was it was one we talked about playing right when it came out. And then and then we just never did. 
Is it still on sale, Tim? Sale ends June 3rd. Okay. Because I could, I could be convinced to pick it up. I, I have heard good things, if nothing else. And then let's see you. Okay, that's that's pretty recent. So let's see. So you you will die. No. Oh, unless our poison went up, did it? Our poison is 60 now. So that you die, you die, you everybody in the circle currently dies. I think. Except for maybe this guy. Yeah, this guy doesn't. Now he does. Okay. I don't think I need to do anything else. We can just zap you. And then... Hold on. If I don't move, I can hit, hit you with a focus and get a bit of a debuff going for next time. This guy is 62, so he's not technically dead. Okay. Now, now we're at zero panic. Main gimmick of Gloomhaven and the bane of my existence is the fact that every fight is a race against time because your pool of cards is shrinking with each refresh. I have played games like that, and uh, that is an interesting... It's an interesting dynamic. Okay, so let's see. These two guys do need a little bit of help. If you like this... And then you can finish off the rest of the work here. I could suppress a fire if we feel like we're we're falling behind here, but we'll see. Okay, so this guy definitely needs a little bit more help along. But now the... Oh, okay, and if I stand here, the poison is now hitting everybody. So we have a chance at stuns on these two. But there we go. This... Oh, are you? 55, 124. There's a little bit too much math sometimes in playing heroes with poisonous, trying to figure out what's going to die and what's not going to die. I found Rifle Contagion One-Handed Sword to be surprisingly fun combo. That's a very interesting one, Bane, I will say. Okay, so this side... This side is, is basically handled, I think. We just need to... Okay, are you... 55 plus 60 is 115. You're at one. Ah, uh, no. You're going to need a hit. Okay. Now that's all cleared up. So you can come over and help with this. This is looking like a pretty sick Armageddon to start.
And I'm just going to slow those down just to give me a bit of respite here. There are basically two main ways of dealing with it. Either you play cards that don't consume themselves mainly and save the deck for as long as possible, or just try speedrunning and burning it. Yeah, you suppress the trash mobs, burn down the big targets with momentum and zip out. Hmm. That is interesting, Bane. Let's see, I will probably... Let's jump over you. And we'll do that. Okay. Which this leaves... This leaves a lot of work for... For our rifle friend. Okay, you're... You're at 107? Yeah, so you're fine. You're already dead. Okay, so that should get everybody. But now we do need to... Get some work done over here. You have one... You can get one AP back. That doesn't help much. What can we do? With one AP, we can kill a thing. So I will do that. Okay. I'm, I'm happy with the way that turned out. And I think we got everything on this side too, thanks to Poisonous. Yep. Also, you're right, uh, Power Staff one-handed axe, especially with Blood Mage, is nonsensically broken. It's really good, isn't it, Bane? It's so fun. So, so fun. The... If only I was more reliable. <laughs> yeah, I really like one-handed axe. I think everything here is dead. Uh, oh, you're at 125. That's not quite roasted. 108 is good. 108 is good. I'm really enjoying this poisonous hero. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe they will become. Maybe they will become the monster that I I hope they will. Ninety-two is not going to get there, but you are. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Okay. See if I sprint into an action point. Okay. All right, perfect night. So here's the jankiest idea for collateral damage. A propagate weapon with a lot of propagate and negative accuracy. That's kind of what we're building, Ivan. That's actually kind of what we're building. We uh, we have a hero that rolled staggeringly low accuracy, and we're not giving them any accuracy level ups. Now, we need to find a medallion of collateral damage, which I'm a little nervous is just not going to show up, but we're, we have an idea. We have a concept. I feel like night four, you're technically able to get an additional mountain here, and we just kind of didn't, but. There's a lot of armor, which is pretty nice. I think we roll this, though. What 
Ooh. Poison and stun on the great axe. Can get down with that. You're officially a melee hero now. Surprise. Blood mage? Gotta be. We've we've secured. We've secured some self-healing. Ooh, an action point is not bad. At some point, we need to start getting some actual dodge, though, for this hero. At 4% crit. I think we keep rolling. Physical damage is good. Okay. Okay, so this is our, our POC hero, which stands for a whole bunch of different things, potentially. Including, but not limited to, being a blood mage. <laughs> for, for whatever reason. You don't need stun. You do need crit still. Oh, we'll keep taking damage if it keeps being offered. And then our actual blood mage over here picks up an action point. That's fine. Uh, and healing received. Don't mind if I do. Okay. That's a thing. Okay, so let's see. So we have lots and lots of workers. Way more than we could ever want. Do we want to... Maybe we switch over to gear now. The, the sooner we switch over to gear, the sooner we potentially have... The ability to get that collateral damage amulet that we need. You really like the tactical aspects of Gloomhaven, especially the hex grid. Yeah, this is, this is making me more interested in trying it out. Uh, we can't take a cannon with accuracy, but this does, this will sell relatively well. It's not a bad, ooh, I, offhand gauntlet again. Gosh darn it. Silver rifle isn't bad. I, I'm doing this just because I want to see more items in Lustrous. Ooh. So there's the Mithril Cannon. The mythical Mithril Cannon. But also we get our first Gauntlet. Ooh, there's a sweet Gauntlet. Ooh, that's actually a very sweet Gauntlet. Let's see. This has dodge, damage, that... I'm looking for some paladin pants for for reducing our accuracy more. Healing received, health, dodge. That probably isn't too bad. That's a decent charm. Ooh, bow with one accurate with that is interesting too. A lot of gauntlets showing up all of a sudden. Better Druid Staff is fine. So many gauntlets. Holy smokes. That's a nice that's a nice armor though. Hello, Rodent Chubs. Welcome. grab these pants okay so let's see so you we do want crit on you but i think those pants also uh, they don't have accuracy so we can do that and we can give you that you with the druid staff can take this 
No, did I want to give you... No, this has dodge on it. We'll give this to our dodgy person. They lose a bit of dodge, but they gain a lot of other survival stats. So I think it is worth. This we can just sell. I don't... Comparing these two rifles, they're like... Nominally the same. I think Tome can go. Oh yeah, wait, actually. So you... You're eventually going to use a gauntlet, but it's going to be a minute. Or maybe we do it now. You're pretty, you're pretty tanky. I think we can get by with that. Now, at the moment, you have a ton of accuracy still. Because we haven't removed these, which takes you down to negative 12. Okay. So for now, I think we're fine with this hero being accurate until we find what we're looking for. Then we'll do this. I think it's certainly a good, as good a time as any to shopkeeper's friend. Ooh, there's some pal paladin pants. Oh. Oh, no, those are spiked greaves, not paladin pants. Never mind. We need another potion because we're going to start. This hero is going to need some healing. They they are still healing primarily through, through potions. So we need to collect those when we can. Three movement, three momentum. I am finding that I have like movement blindness at the moment where I'm seeing stuff and I'm like, oh, our, hey, our, uh, I'm seeing stuff with movement on it and being like, oh, movement doesn't work. This, ha this comes with healing received and dodge. Sure. Well, we're going to replace it before we get too far into things, I think. Better adamantium great axe. Yeah, it's more damage. We lose a bit of accuracy, but we gain some health and some survivability. I think that's fine. You just don't have a second weapon? Question mark? Exclamation point? Looks like, uh, looks like double great axe is the... Uh, is the the price of admission. Played the game in early access, completely forgot about it, and snagged it back after the DLC dropped. It is so good, Rodent Chubb. Sorry I missed your message for a second there. I got lost in the sauce. As, as you tend to do with this game. If there ever was a, a poison blood mage healing weapon, that might be it. It might, it might very well be it. Let's see. Do I want to buy oh we could go, we could go one hand axe. Rather than going with this, maybe we ditch this and buy back this one-handed axe. Sure. And then we can give you the the we can give you the warp crystal for now. That works for me. Let's get uh let's do some walling. I just realized, do we, you do get, uh, you do get resistance on your blood mages from, from mana wells still. So I think it's still worth it, but we are fully blood mage. Do you still have pants? You still don't have pants. Do we like these pants for you? We prefer some poison pants. I might roll once. Let's see if we can get, ooh, we like that. The gauntlets are coming fast and furious now. Another health pot is good. And then I actually like these worn pants. They come with 6% dodge. That's not, that's not nothing. And then who gets the action point? I think I'll give it here. Oh, you lose dodge when we do that though, don't you? Only a little bit of dodge. Maybe that's fine. Okay. We're going to get a warning for being... Uh, for being one gold over the uh, the desired amount of gold. You gain one resistance every three days. Massive gains. Massive gains, I say. All right, so now you're going to have to pick a side and kind of be in the fray now. But that's why you have a, that's why you have a cannon. This, uh, this hero, again, looking real good. The eye patch, the warrior's armor. 
You can disable the, I they remind me of things sometimes that I otherwise would have forgotten in Lustrous, so I like kind of keeping them, but 